dyeing woolen gas fabric with eucalyptus leaves. In the process of laying out the leaves, I will tell you how I prepared the fabric. I begin to lay out the eucalyptus leaves. They were dry mostly. I soaked them in water at room temperature for an hour. Then I drained this water and poured boiling water for a couple of minutes. Further, I removed the water and added wine vinegar. About 200 grams for these leaves. Leaves are different. Some I found here on the Mediterranean coast. Round ones were bought. I want to see how dyeing with eucalyptus leaves will turn out. I took out these leaves and put them on a napkin to remove the excess moisture. Now I'm laying out on the fabric. I washed woolen gas in the washing machine. It began to felt a little. I dipped it in hot solution consisting of hot water, half tablespoon of iron sulfate, I had a lot of water there. I added a tablespoon of sea salt and 100 grams of wine vinegar. I poured the green tea into the solution because the tannins are important for making a grey big brown, as my cloth was beige. I don't really like beige color, so I wanted to make such an experiment. I had fresh leaves too, and I also put them in a pot with boiling water. But these two sticks were just poured into vinegar, because I want to see how they will behave. These leaves are from the same kind of eucalyptus. Let's see the difference between putting leaves in the boiling water and in vinegar. I don't make a certain ornament, I put the leaves randomly. The ornament could be created with separate leaves torn of a twig, or the whole twig.
if you want to add a single leaf somewhere, put it like this. Eucalyptus dies on both sides. I lay out the wrong side down, but there are a lot of branches with leaves lying in different directions. If leaves are laid out on the wrong side, all sorts of veins are more visible after printing. Take off the gloves and cover everything with the napkins. I will do this in order to remove excess moisture and to press the leaves harder. But you can do it without napkins. It is okay that not everything is closed, as this is not medium print. Cover it with the film on top. One film is already at the bottom. If you don't have film, you can use garbage bags or polyethylene bags. Now I take the rolling pin. I will press it to remove the extra air from the layout. I will roll it to expel the air a little and I will fold according to the width of my rolling pin. Fold it and expel air again and again.
Now roll it while pressing with the weight of your body. Stretch the film and wrap the roll. Make from 5 to 7 layers. So that during boiling in a pan, film will shrink and fix the leaves and the canvas. I will pack it well, so water won't get inside. Boil in a saucepan on low heat under the lid for 2 hours. Further, I will leave it to cool in this pan, then unroll and dry. I will wash it in 3 days, maybe even in a week. You can leave it for longer, as the whole process of developing the prints will take quite a long time even after washing. So the print that you will see immediately will differ from the one that you will see later. Unroll it and take a look at the prints. The smaller twigs printed better than the big ones. Not bad for gas wool, because the fabric itself is rather loose. The wrong side also got an interesting effect. <laughs>